As a graphic designer, it can be tempting to offer your services for free. But the question is, is it really worth it? Should you design for free? In this video, we're going to discuss the pros and cons of designing for free as a graphic designer. And at the end of the video, you're going to decide whether or not you're going to be designing for free or you're going to charge hugely for all that you design. And this is coming up. Hi everybody Innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing the question of whether you should design for free or not has been one of the debates in the graphic design space and in this video we're going to discuss about that so let's get into the video designing for free may have its own advantages and disadvantages so let's quickly start with the reasons why you should consider designing for free number one exposure Designing for free can help you gain recognition and exposure in your community. When you are starting out as a graphic designer, definitely nobody knows you. You don't have any background. You don't have any kind of portfolio, nothing to show off the market or your community. So definitely taking jobs from family members, friends, and even strangers and trying to work on them out yourself is definitely going to give you exposure to the market. Now, let me share a story of how I got my first client on Fiverr. After I worked for a friend for free, the person actually referred me to the client. He wanted me to do some manipulations for him. So the person referred me to the client on Facebook. And then since the person was based in the US, I decided to take the person to Fiverr. And that was how I got my first ever client on Fiverr. This goes on to explain this point of gaining exposure through working for free. By deciding to work for free for my friend, I got a referral. I got a recommendation that actually led to my first client on Fiverr. When you design for free, your work is seen by a larger audience and you get referrals and recommendations. And this can help you establish your brand and build a positive reputation in your field of work. Point number two, designing for free may help you to build your portfolio. You know, when you start out, you barely have anything that you've worked on. As someone who just started learning graphic design, you probably haven't taken on many projects or any projects. So if a client should reach out to you and ask you to present your portfolio, you may likely not find anything to give to them. And that is when designing for free comes in. When you are working out for friends, when you are working out for family members, when you are working for free for strangers, it grants you the opportunity to explore different projects and then you are able to use that to build your portfolio. You know, when you work for free for people, it is most likely not binded by any law or legal actions and then you can present to other people as your portfolio. And that leads us to our point number three. Designing for free helps you to learn new skills and master your craft. When you start out, you need to take different projects. You need to work on so many things so that you can find your feet in the field. You need to explore all the avenues that are available or all the projects that you can get your hands on. You get the opportunity to learn everything that you're supposed to learn. Photo manipulation, flyer design, banner, invitation, every aspect of the graphic design field. And that's it. By learning new skills and having different projects to work on, you gain experience. Experience is what is going to set you apart from the ordinary designer, from the very beginner designer who just started graphic designing. So when you have the opportunity to work across different sectors, you have the opportunity to work across different parts of the graphic design field, you are able to gather skills, you are able to learn new skills, and then it helps you to gain experience. And later on, you can decide to base on this experience and decide to expertise another reason why you might consider working for free is for community impact of course every one of us wants to create a certain impact in a community that we find ourselves this might be probably our church this might be the local community that we live in this might be a group that we join in school you might set yourself as a graphic designer or another field and you might want to be designing or choose to contribute to that community by showing or giving up your skills for that matter and this is eventually going to make a positive impact in the community that you find yourself you might as well want to approach some non-profit organizations or other communities and you might want to offer your design skills for free by doing this you might help them achieve a goal and you contribute to a course that you believe in while there are benefits to designing for free, there are of course downsides that you may also want to consider. In this section of the video, we are going to look at the reasons why you should not design for free. 
And the first point that we are going to look at is devaluing your work. By working for free, you basically set yourself to people or you speak to people that your work is not of any value. You know, there is a general idea that people have that when things are free, it basically means that it is not of value. It is not that very good. And that is the same thing that applies to when you kind of almost always design for free. When you design for free, people may not actually see the value and the efforts that you put in and they may tend to devalue your work. Talking about efforts, the next point that we're going to look at is time and effort. Designing takes time. It takes effort. You put a lot of work in. You would have to communicate with the clients, gather information, do your research and gather inspiration that you are going to design, that you are going to use to make your design. This is going to take a lot of time and effort. And if you are someone who is already established in the design field, doing this for free, all of these for free is actually going to take your time and effort and it is actually going to eat into your paid time. So let's take a typical example. If you've already taken a Fiverr order like myself, a freelancer, you'll have an order to finish. And you also take something from a friend or a family member to design on. The Fiverr order is waiting for you, which has, um, let's say 24 hours, 48 hours. And the same person would have to split his time to also research and work on the other family or friends project, which definitely is going to cause a divided attention. And probably you might have to put one's own at the top or a higher priority than the other. The next and most important point that we're going to talk about is professionalism. Designing for free can really undermine your professionalism. When you design for free, people don't really take you serious and they basically take your services as a joke. And this actually happened in one of the videos that I recently talked about, about someone wanting a designer to create 50 logos and he's going to go through before contract to be discussed. This is a pure example of people undermining you and undermining your professionalism. When you mostly design for free, people don't really think that you are into something that you consider a profession because no one actually in his right profession would be doing things for free over and over again. That said, by continuously designing for free, you make it harder to establish yourself as a professional and you make it harder for people to also see you as a professional and this can actually lead to clients taking advantage of you anytime they want to work with you so now the question you ask yourself is what do i do if i don't have any experience i'm not an expert in this field but i also want to gain experiences build portfolio and gain collaboration or connect with other people well there are other alternatives that you can use and the first one that you can do is you take on personal projects you can work on your own personal project to showcase your skills and build portfolio this can be done by researching into different projects that has been done already by other people and trying to recreate them in this case you are not actually going to take credits for all that you do you are just going to recreate something and then use it to build your own portfolio another thing is by continuously watching tutorials especially step-by-step -step tutorials like the ones that i provide on the channel let me flex a bit so you can watch these tutorials try to replicate or try to make some changes to it yourself and then it is going to help you build your skills and gain experience through that another thing that you can do is take on design challenges and collaborate with other designers so when you are starting out you need to find yourself in graphic design groups and graphic design communities in most of these communities they provide challenges and they provide kind of collaborations that you can link up with other graphic designers you take on some of these challenges and it's going to help you build portfolio and gain experience and one of the most important things it is going to also help you to build relationships another thing that you can also take is paid internships or apprenticeships or even if it's not paid you can actually go on internships so you find a graphic design firm or you find a graphic design a local graphic design in your area and then you can go to the person try to work for them assist them in a way that you can also benefit from them by learning from their feet by doing this you gradually build yourself and then you position yourself in a place that people can also see you and work with you yeah so designing for free has its own pros and cons as we've discussed in this video and i believe you're going to make the decision for yourself because whilst it is able to help you gain experience build portfolio and establish your feet in the field it can also undermine your skills and talent it can also 
make you not be seen as a professional and of course it can also take your time and effort so the decision to design for free is definitely up to you and i believe you are going to make the right decision however it is important to weigh the pros and cons carefully and decide whether the project that you are taking on aligns with your values and your goals whatever that you decide to do remember that your work is important your skill is important your time is important and it should be compensated fairly for every effort that you put in I hope you gained value out of this video. If you did and you want to see such of these videos, you might consider subscribing and don't forget to check the other videos. And if you are starting out graphic design, you may want to check my tutorials as you may find something very useful over there. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.